All right, everyone, welcome back to the Ohio Bobcats Coaches Show with Jeff Bowles. Coach, big win against Miami last night. Let's start with the guy that came back, Jason Preston. What does it mean having him back in the lineup? Yeah, you know, number one, thank you. Uh, it's always great to win and even better when it's your rival, you know, uh, in Miami. But it was awesome to see JP back. Um, you know, we, we were without him for four games and we're definitely a better team with him in the in the lineup and on the court. And you know, I think he really helped facilitate and and uh, create good, good, good energy on both ends of the floor and, and uh, just really happy to see him back out there. What does he bring maybe off the court, something that you can't see, a, a tan like an intangible that people maybe don't get to be a part of in the locker room or on the court when he's on the bench? What, what does he bring to the game there? Yeah, I think, you know, he, he was vocal, you know, even when he was out from a leadership standpoint. And, and you could really tell when he was on the court, you know, the, the communication piece, you know, elevated. And he was talking defensively, you know, kind of telling people where to go, where to be. And I think that that's invaluable when you have someone like that. You talked about distributing the ball and guys that benefit from that. One of those was obviously Ben last night. He had a great game, knocked down six threes, game high 20 points. Where do you think that he's improved the most from his freshman year to this season? Yeah, I think just a confidence level. Um, you know, anytime you play as a freshman, it's a tough adjustment physically, mentally. You know, it's a, it's a long season. It's a grind, you know, ups and downs. And I think being a sophomore now, you know, you know what you're going through, know the games, know practices. And, you know, really he's, he's been healthy the, the, you know, this year. And, um, you know, with, with him making those shots, it makes us a completely different team. One thing that stood out to me was 25 points off turnovers compared to just eight for Miami. Where does that start? Where do you think that that momentum comes from of being able to do something like that? Yeah, you know, we, we forced, I guess, 13 turnovers and we had 14. So to only have them get eight points off, I think our transition defense was good. Uh, they weren't live ball turnovers per se, where you can you know allow easy transition buckets for them. But I think for us, you know, defensively, you know, we're really good in transition. So we want to get those stops and we want to get those turnovers to be able to create offense. And to for them to have 13 turnovers and us to have that many points, you know, it was a big part of our offensive output. We talked about closing games out, how important that is, and maybe struggling to do that in the past couple of weeks. But last night you're up by nine at halftime. Then you jump all over top of them. I think you guys had a 16 to two run at the end of the first half going into the second half. And then you had a double digit lead the rest of the game. Where do you think you were able to do that? Where have you improved since last week, since two weeks ago, of being able to keep a lead and, and build on top of that? Yeah, that's something we've talked about in those you know, prior games, especially the Northern Illinois game. You know, like, like you had mentioned, you know, we had a, a pretty good lead, 12, 14 point lead in that game. And they cut it to a two point game, you know, late in the game. So, you know, those are always teachable moments, learning moments. You know, it's better to learn from winning than it is from losing. And um, you know, I thought the big key, like you mentioned, with the last four minutes of that first half, first four minutes of the second half, that momentum swing, you know, going into the half and coming out of the half were huge. Uh, we forced them to call you know, timeout to start the game, start the second half, and and uh, those those momentum shifts were really big. What the. Let's swing over to the uh, the game against Toledo that you guys had earlier in the week. It was a, a tough loss. The Rockets shot 60% from the field. Uh, they scored 95 points, really hard to do in college basketball. Was it them just knocking down shots that were contested, or were they getting too many open looks, in your opinion? Yeah, I think it was a little bit of both, Justin. I think you know it was our defense, and I think it was their offense. They're a high-powered offensive team. They try to outscore you. Um, I don't think they're great defensively. You know, They switch a lot front to post, but – you know give them a lot of credit you know they, they space you out and they got multiple shot makers so I think it was you know some of our defense some of their offense and you know some things that we watched you know after the game of what we didn't do well what we need to get better at and I thought that carryover from that game film session to the Miami game you know, was really good on our guys part. How do you get a team like that to play your game? You want to keep it more defensive because you guys are a good defense team. You can obviously shoot the ball. You lead the MAC in field goal percentage. But how do you get a team like that to play a little bit more to what you guys are good at and not try to run and gun with them? Well, I, I think offensively we could have stayed with them, but you know you have to get defense de defensive stops, and it's almost like you know you look at the Alabama Ohio State game the other night, right? The team who got stops, you know, got the win. 
Right. And it, it's about getting those stops and, and transition offense is a big part of what we do. And we couldn't get the stops. But I, I think they were the aggressor, you know, on the offensive end, defensive end and controlled the tempo of the game. And, um, you know, you can't allow that against a good offensive team. I know you mentioned the turnovers against Miami. It was around 14. I think it was around 14 or 15 for Toledo as well. How do you limit those turnovers? It wasn't really a problem that we saw in the first couple of weeks of the season. Yeah, I think if you look at um, the game last night, you know, we had some unforced turnovers where we cut, we tried to force the issue. You know, those are things you can kind of correct uh, by making simple plays. But, you know, when we're shooting 56, 57 percent from the field, like – you want to take care of the basketball. If you turn the ball over, you can't have an opportunity to score. So if you're making 57% of your field goals, you know, that's one less shot attempt, two, you know, 14 less shot attempts that you can get. You know, you're scoring, you know, 14 more points if you just make the simple plays. Going back to that Toledo game, it's interesting to look at that because you guys had the exact number of made free throws. Rebounds were virtually the same. Turnovers were virtually the same. Uh, they maybe have a few more assists. But in a game like that, where a lot of the, the statistical categories are similar, how does it wind up being a 17-point game in the end? Yeah, the big, the big thing was the threes. And like I said, I thought Toledo did what they wanted to do offensively. They spaced you out. They got skilled position guys, one through five. And, and it's really like, what are you going to take away? And if you really look at the MAC from year to year to year to year, you know, normally the team that wins it has seniors and juniors at the guard spot. And, you know, Marion Jackson, Spencer Littleson, those guys have played a lot of games, started a lot of games, won a lot of games. And, you know, they have an experienced backcourt. You know, with Jason Preston not being out, that's where you really rely on a guy like him on the road against a really good team to help control things, to help calm things down. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not saying we would have won if he would have been in there, but you know, it would have been a different game. You guys are about two months into the season at this point. Where do you think that you've learned about this team or, or where have you seen improvement that you wanted to see before the season began? I think offensively, we're really good. You know, we have multiple guys in score. We share the ball really well. You know, I think last night we had 24 assists on 31 baskets or something like that. And you know, the biggest thing is defensively. You know, I told our guys after the Toledo game, we were dead last in the MAC and, and defensive efficiency rating. And in order to win a championship, you have to defend and you have to rebound. You know, we, we, you know, the Bowling Green game, the Akron game, and the Toledo game, our three losses in the league play, you know, we were horrible defensively. So the growth, you know, offensively is there. Now we got to see the growth defensively, ball pressure, you know, guarding the basketball, being in gaps, rebounding the ball. Those are the big things moving forward. You talked about really wanting to get a stretch of good games. You guys have now won three of your last four. What's it going to take to win four or five against Penn State this weekend? Yeah, you have another high-powered offensive team that, that can score multiple ways. Danny Pippen's playing as well, if not better than everyone in the league. Yeah. Um, you know, he's scored 30-plus points the last couple games. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a, another defensive effort on our part to, you know, not give them easy looks, make them earn, you know, what, what they get offensively. But it's going to have to start on the defensive end. All right, Coach, appreciate your time as always, and good luck this weekend against the Golden Flashes. All right, thanks, Justin.